What's up everybody? We finally got that Podium Advanced Paddle Module System installed on my F1 rim right here. And I've been dying to give you guys kind of an onboard of what it's like. All I can say right now, I went ahead and switched out those big paddles I installed on the first video. And I went to the actual uh, small paddles that you should have used in the very beginning anyways. But you could do whatever you want in the end. But I gotta be honest, oh my god, these feel so freaking good. That magnetic feel feels like a, a Lamborghini Trofeo from Ogara. Oh my god, it feels incredible. And then these two, I mapped them, uh, I believe, Kurs and DRS, just because I wanted to. It's my preference. Um, but oh my god, I've already went ahead and jumped into Seta Corsa. And uh, I can't map both clutches, but I can map one clutch, and it feels very good to have a clutch where you can let loose. Amazing. So let's go ahead and jump in and actually see what it's really like because you can't buy something that costs what 150 some dollars and expect something so let's actually see what it really feels like and then make your decision after that but i do highly recommend it if you do have an f1 rim and i believe you can actually put these on the uh, other f1 rims prior in the club support series so why not um, but I do recommend it. It does feel light years ahead of what came with this wheel. What came with this wheel, I'll be very honest, it did feel like junk. And that's my true nature. You know, I don't race for Fanatec. I'm not sponsored by them, but I do buy their products because I do like them. So when they do put out really crisp products, I'm on board. I'm in. I can't wait for more Podium Series products. Anyways. Let's stop wasting time. Let's jump in and find out what it's really like to drive with these paddle shifters. What's up everybody? So now we're here, we're gonna go ahead and actually test the wheel on the rig. Um, I'm actually just gonna run a lap around uh, Paul Richards, which is the next F1 stop. What better place than with an F1 car, with an F1 system for your F1 wheel. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm gonna pull the clutch in, put it in first gear. And here we go. I love that. You just let it out very soft instead of popping it and you get such a better reaction. Just incredible. So let's go ahead and jump in as soon as we get out of the pit. And as we're driving, I'll give you my impression. So that already feels good. That feels like a real paddle shifter now. Unfortunately, I have the high torque key in, so you're going to see the direct drive be a little aggressive. My bad. But, um, boy. Yeah, you're coming into a downshift, and that just that felt like gold. A little too wide. And this actually, I just downloaded this track uh, off race department, so... I'm gonna have to spend some time on Paul Richards. All right, let's go ahead and hit that Curse and DRS. Oh yeah. Let's find out which one is. So that's DRS. And we're probably out of the battery. Oh, so yeah, I really like downshifting with it, coming into corners. This feels solid. Okay, let's upshift. Feels good. I really like the curves, uh, the curves, or the DRS and the curves uh, mapped on the uh, upper paddles. It just it feels more legit than holding a button. My uh, webcam just fell, so. Alright, so let's pull into the pits. Pull the clutch in. Do we have to pull the clutch in? I don't know. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and do that. Now I'm gonna give you an actual on board now that you've kind of seen from here, this angle. And we'll do a lap at Paul Richard. Maybe I will turn down the force on the direct drive so I don't break my wrist. I don't know. But it feels really good. I do wish it was the dual clutch because it would be cool to let out and then let out to give that a wah. So, but um, you know, that's software. The hardware is here. Um, 
I really like these size though paddles. So let's jump in and actually see onboard footage now. All right, everybody. So here's the lap at Paul Richards. Let's check it out. Um, I'm gonna turn down the force real quick because I don't wanna break my wrist. There it is, about 100. Let's turn it down to 80. All right, so we let off the clutch. And it's gonna be a silent lap, so enjoy the sound of a F1 car. This is my second one. Hers is engaged. All right, so I also wanted to go ahead and show you the paddle shifters that come with it that are not necessarily for F1. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. It's a bigger paddle. It's more for this size. It's this size, literally. So it's definitely for a bigger rim if you wanted to throw the upgrade uh, paddle module system on a big wheel, which you can. Um, I actually saw someone who did it with that hub, so that's possible. Um, but I want to go and show you guys the big paddles and it's a different uh, top paddle, which I actually like a lot. I actually like this more than the other ones because it sticks out a little further and you get this like sensation, I don't know, it just, the whole grip of this feels really good. So let's go ahead and do a lap. Let me turn this down real quick and then uh, we'll talk about it. So here we go, Pump, put the clutch in and let out. Here we go. So yeah, immediately you feel this paddle. I mean, it's in your finger, it's in your hand. Um, most people would probably be against that. Um, I'm actually for it. Um, I love the feel. So when you're driving, you just have this solid bone, but it is big. So if you if you're driving with a DD2 for sure, you're probably not gonna want it. It's gonna slice a finger if it snaps out of your arm if you don't have gloves on. Even if you do have gloves on, who knows what it could do. So you gotta be careful with that at the same time. But um, you know, I like I said, the, the top ones I like a lot because they're further out. And it just, it feels really legit. Wait, see, see? What would happen if that just sliced your hand? It's carbon, it could definitely slice. So you guys gotta be careful. Uh, I highly don't recommend that all you guys out there use them, but I do like them. So that's just my preference, um, but they are dangerous if you're gonna run them on an F1 rim. It's definitely for that bigger rim, I like my Momo. And let's hit the curves. It's actually kind of hard to hit the curves with these uh, shifters because your fingers are like digging around. Uh, I don't know about it actually. Um, I highly am starting to change my mind to, I highly don't recommend them at all. 
for uh, F1 wheels. I don't like them now all of a sudden. It made it too hard to hit curves in DRS. And it's just kind of difficult in general. I don't like it. Um, hmm. So we're coming to the end of the lap and my opinion is we're almost there at the, we're at the last turn. You'll get my last opinion. Okay, we just kind of like kicked out the rear. Don't put them on your F1 rear. They're not meant for it. They don't feel good. They kind of feel good when you're just holding it without driving. And as soon as you're driving, you're like, okay, yeah, definitely not me. It's just, it's too much. It's literally, it sticks out from the rim. So, you know, let's pull it off and look at it real quick. I'm, I, I highly, I highly recommend against it. Don't use them for your F1 rim. If you have a, a actual round wheel, definitely use them. I think it would be really good. But with this one, it actually kind of hurts um, trying to get around here. You're like digging around. Your hand goes from here to here. Uh, like that's too much. So, you know, you know, try it if you guys do have it. You know, experience it yourself. Maybe you'll like it, but from my opinion, for myself, I actually don't like it. And in the beginning, of this, in the beginning of this section, I was kind of all for it. So that goes to say a lot. Do a lap, and you'll go, okay, yeah, I'm going back to the originals. Alrighty. All right, guys. So that's my take on the uh, Podium Advanced Paddle Module System for the F1 rim. But just know that these are not just for the F1 rim. You can run these on here and that's why we have them right now installed these are the big paddles I don't recommend putting them on the uh, F1 but if you do have something like this and you want to upgrade to something really solid yeah here we go so consider that that's an option but um, we did run them with the F1 and they were just amazing um, I highly recommend if you do have the money to drop for an upgrade for paddles is it going to make you a faster racer? No. Is it going to make you more confident? Probably. Uh, there's nothing like going from a real race car, if you've ever been in one, and then hopping into your simulator and getting the same vibe. Uh, it, it makes you feel good. You feel like you're not playing with a toy. Um, I've had a lot of Thrustmaster products in my past, and I felt like a toy was in my hands. And um, it's nice going from real race cars to a simulator and feeling something that has that magnetic touch. I mean, you're gonna feel that, like I said in the beginning of the video, in a uh, Lamborghini Trofeo race car. Uh, it just, it, it, most of the rims feel like this. Most of the McLarens feel like this, and the Ferraris, and just about any race car. So Fanatec, you guys did an excellent job. I really like what you guys did with this. Um, I'm glad I ordered it. I'm excited to order more Podium Series products. Personally, what I'm really waiting for is hydraulic podium pedals or something along the lines of more realistic pedals as part of the podium series. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you guys want to leave the comments down, I know you guys love leaving comments on my videos saying awesome things. I love reading them. Uh, yeah, so I'll talk to you guys then on the comments. But uh, like I said, it's worth the buy. Enjoy, guys. Take care.